Hello, my name is Aloy Sherlock, and I've got a great video for you today. How to make VSL's VI series strings sound big and lush. Take a listen to the 72nd demo in F minor. That Vienna Orchestra, they sound pretty good. Now, this how to make your VSL string sound big and lush, I do recommend you take lots of screenshots. Inside of here, we had violins one, violins two, violas, cellos, basses, flute, alto flute, Wagner horn, and celeste. Let's take off the score here. I did run everything through Mir Pro 3D. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Uh, let's peel this off here. So as we're into my laboratory here, we're gonna start off with C minus two, which is staccato, ports, detaches, dynamics, many different types of dynamics. And that's where the A and B switches come into play. Crescendo, decrescendo longs, different types of legatos, more dynamics, harmonics, pizzicatos, tremolos, ponticellos, sordinos, fast reps, and marcados. I go through this because uniformity. No matter what instrument that, that I'm in here, no matter which one we pick, woodwinds, uh, brass, strings, they all have the same key switches. This is huge as we're going forward to have uniformity. Now, oh, we have uh, Mr. Uh, we have Mr. Landscaper here, so let's cut that. The demo we just heard is an F minor, and in the strings, it uses longs and uses tremolos. We're going to go into here into Vienna Instruments Pro, as it is. Uh, what I refer to as school time. On our long, to build it, we use a lot of different samples. This gives us a big, lush sound. In the first block, we have a sustain that goes a little bit out of tune. And then that cross fades into a sustain vibrato progressive. That cross fade is controlled here by my foot pedal. Underneath that is a piano forte piano. Underneath that, to give a little bit of movement, is a sordino tremolo. Wonderful. Underneath that is a perfect legato. And if you look underneath the advanced tab, you'll actually be able to see how many velocity layers that each one of these samples carries with it. You'll also notice that underneath attacks, that each one of these has a different attack. Why? Well, because when you have an orchestra, not everybody plays exact. Uh, they're not robots. And this adds to the realism. When we look underneath humanization, you'll see that humanization is set differently for my appassionato violins than it is for the actual first chair violins. Also, for the velocity crossfade and the volume, I control that with my 
breath controller. But if you notice, as it goes up and down, it goes up a little bit differently. Why? Because under my control map, my curve is set differently from my volume than it is for my velocity. So this adds a little bit different dynamics into each one of the samples and my expression is controlled here through my modulation wheel. Really beautiful stuff. On the Violins 1, Violins 1, we use Violin 1. And on Violin 1, we have Sustain Vibrato Expression. Another Piano Forte Piano 2 Second. Now notice that's 2 Second while on the main strings, it's a four second. So it's almost like it's almost like a wave. Really nice. And a no vibrato to a sustain vibrato. So this then gives us this then gives us our violins one. When we go over to our violins two, violins two, now we're using orchestra violins. Here we have 14 players, and if we go over to here, we have 20 players. So our second strings, as we're using here, it starts off with a sustain, no vibrato, to a sustain vibrato, and then underneath it, piano forte piano, and then that goes four seconds, and then underneath that is a sordino, and that's a tremolo sustain, and then underneath that, a perfect legato, and then underneath violins too. Now, when you look under the solo violin, here we have solo violin, but it also has, if you scroll down to another folder, has violin two. So you're able to use, you're able to use that. It's a different, it's a different sample. The whole idea is that we're putting together these samples, but we're not playing the same sample at the same time. It gives a real richness and then eliminates any phasing that you may have when you have the same sample playing at the same time. So then we're using, here we have our orchestra violins, our second violin for the second violins. And it sounds like this. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay, now for the tremolos, it's a lot simpler. We go over to our tremolo patches and we're using for our violins one VI-20 tremolo and that's velocity crossfade is on. And for our first chair violin, a tremolo sustain. And then we go over to our second violins on our orchestra. We're using a VI-14 here with our clock velocity crossfade on. And on our second violin, VI-B, we have a tremolo sustain. And this sounds like this. And of course, the hand movement makes it sound better. Okay, so that's violins one and violins two. Now we're gonna go into basses, cellos, and violas. Let's switch over from, okay, I'm in Divisimate. It's part of my new workflow. I gotta say, this is just wonderful tool. I highly recommend it. Just makes things sound just beautiful and it really, it's just, just a wonderful tool. I can't say enough good about it. So uh, let me go out of my test one, which is my personal patches, and go into universal voicing and uh, low strings open here. And I'm going to go in and on here. They have 
they have each one, they're using the transposer. And you can see that this has been changed to nine. And I'm going to change this to minor. And when I go down to minor, this one also changes to minor. And it, the transposer is changed to four. So it sounds like this. It's just, it makes up so many things that, so many creative ways to be able to start. I, I, I just can't say enough good. I know I'm gushing, but it is. It's great. Okay, so when we're looking at the violas, you can see that we're using the same formula. Sustain, going a little bit out of tune, piano forte, piano four seconds, no vibrato to strong vibrato, going ahead and moving over, a legato, and then when we go to the first uh, viola, I'm using a sustained expression, piano forte, piano four second, no vibrato to a sustained vibrato. And this whole pattern for the longs carries through. Here we are on the uh, here we are on the uh, cellos, and on the cellos, we're going from sustain vibrato, sustain out of tune. So we're mixing and matching. It's almost like a big stew, and we're stirring this. We're stirring this pot up, making all these beautiful sounds. Wonderful. And here on the basses, we have uh, we have sustain piano forte piano, and on the bass here. The single, we have sustained vibrato progressive, then no vibrato, two vibrato, and the piano forte vibrato. Oh, and I forgot on the cellos, on the single, we have a sustained vibrato expression and, and then piano forte piano. And when you combine these all, it's just terrific. So that is the violas, the cellos, and the basses. And a note about humanization. Each one, each one of these instruments has a different humanization. If we look here, we can see that it's set at 45. So if I'm playing a note, and if we look here, The humanization changes on every single note. This gives more realism. We're looking at the basses here. We've got the humanization at 45 for the for the single bass. We've got 13 for the cellos, single cello. We've got 61 for the orchestra, 75 violas. We're looking at 45 and viola, 29 violin, second violin, 19 for the violins, 53, and then for the first violins, the violin, 1, 17, and 45. All of this, when you start mixing it together, means, what did I say on the other video? Oh, means wow. Okay, two final notes here. First one, Divisimate. It's just a game changer. As I was able to play, I played the violins one, violins two together. I played the uh, basses, the cellos, and the violas together. I played the flutes together. The only thing I just played separately was the uh, uh, the celeste and the horn, the the Wagner horn. And on that, I was using the uh, from the VI series, their Dimension, the Dimension uh, Wagner horn. Just terrific stuff. Allows you to really give your personality and play fluidly. Second, the VSL ecosystem gives you so much to be able to choose from. So when I hear, I hear brand X and I'm, I, I say, wait a minute, how do I make that? And so I put it together and before you know it, I got that sound. But that comes from know your tools know your tools. Otherwise, you get gas. 
gear acquisition syndrome, and that's expensive, really expensive. So, once again, I want to thank you. It's been a it's been a real joy sharing all of this with you. God bless and take care.